Chiswick has a booming film industry. The architecture and the ease of access make it popular not only for commercials and English TV series, but for Hollywood and Bollywood feature films as well. The nerve centre of Chiswick's film industry is a little office in the town hall, and our media mogul is Dennis Firminger. He told me that our filmmaking potential is now under threat. Bridget, hi. We're here at Chiswick Town Hall. It's used for filming all the time. We've had lots of different kinds of things here. I'm the film officer for the borough, and uh, we get about 300 days a year of filming in the borough. So you can see there's quite a lot of work that gets done here. Um, we've had Minder here, we've had New Tricks with Dennis Waterman here on these steps. We've had all kinds of projects shot around here and uh, in this general area um, of Chiswick and Brentford. What's important about Chiswick and Brentford, it's the only part of Hounslow that is not under the flight path. When they want to bring a new runway into Heathrow, it's going to go right over here. All the aircraft are going to go right overhead and it's going to stop all the filming in this part of London. So we've got a, currently got um, something like a £1.6 billion pound business in London and the South East for filming. Putting one or two more runways on Heathrow is going to absolutely wipe out that in West London. A large part of that money is going to disappear or go elsewhere. And the losers will be West London. That's the truth. The town hall itself has a rich history of film credits, and it would be very sad to lose that. So this is Chiswick Town Hall, and I'm going to give you a very quick tour to show you where lots and lots of productions have filmed, from Downton Abbey to Never Let Me Go to Minder, all kinds of things have filmed here. So this is where they filmed a piece for Downton Abbey. It was Ripley Town Hall, and there was a political meeting in the council chamber. They walked down these stairs. OK, this is the hall where they used for the Shell Seekers. And this was a Vanessa Redgrave film. And uh, they did a 1940s band playing and really, that, that was the shot there. Vanessa Redgrave actually um, came here. She lives locally. And she looked at the pictures in the corridor here and asked whether we could use those pictures for the film that she was making. We exported them to Cornwall for a couple of weeks. And they ended up in the film. And they are, of course, by um, Mr. Len Festi, who is a Cornish painter. And uh, they're very beautiful pictures of the beach in Cornwall. One of the best-known films made here was Never Let Me Go, the dystopian fantasy starring Keira Knightley, Kerry Mulligan and Andrew Garfield, based on the book by Kazuo Ishiguro, in which children were bred for body parts. I'm going to show you quite a spooky room. Come here. If you stand here and look at that, this is where they did Never Let Me Go. It's the medical room in the school. This is where people had body parts removed. Moving hastily out into the sunshine, Dennis showed me some of the other favourite haunts of filmmakers. OK, so this is Barley Mow Passage. This is a, a, a rather good location that doubles very much for central London and also for New York or somewhere in America with that period look. It used to be a wallpaper factory from Boise and uh, it dates from about 1900. This was used for the thick of it. We had Peter Capaldi in a press scrum getting out of a cab, pretending to be a government minister who's being arrested in the police station. And they um, put signs over the public library sign and the other public library sign and uh, put a, a police light there. 
So um, they just turned this building into a police station. It was quite good. Dennis isn't the only person in Chiswick to spend his time hanging out with film crews. Michael Riley, vicar of St Paul's Church Grove Park, routinely has his house and garden taken over by people in costume, makeup artists, cameras, lighting and trailing cables. This is my home, St Paul's Vicarage, which has been here since 1872, built at the same time as the church. And it's a very large space, which is why we get used often for other things. And I live upstairs. And sometimes it's uh, trying, uh, sharing your house with lots of other people and projects, but uh, it works out. You may recognise this wallpaper in the largest room here, which has featured in Silent Witness, Tinker Tailor, Soldier Spy, and in Song for Jenny, and also in the feature film about Stephen Hawking, The Theory of Everything. Craig David once did a music video here, and he was running up and down this stairway. And we're going up to see the room where Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy was partly filmed. This flowery wallpaper came in for the film. One of the main characters had retired and was running a children's home. And this was her bedroom at the top of the house. And she brought uh, Gary Oldman up here to show him some photographs of their time working together. In this room, we had the film uh, Ted and Sylvia about the poets, uh, Ted Hughes and Sylvia Plath, and Sylvia Plath committed suicide in this room and the character was played by Gwyneth Paltrow. Not far away from St Paul's Church is the Westminster University Sports Ground, where football and rugby players now battle it out beside the Rocco Gym, was once the unlikely setting for an African war zone, as Hounslow film officer Dennis Firminger recalls. Well, this was a battlefield. This is where Alfreda Zane Pet did the opening scene for one of their episodes showing um, a coup d'etat in Africa. And they brought a helicopter in to uh, remove all the, uh, the Europeans from the scene and uh, there was a takeover by an African-led uh, rebellion with um, uh, tanks and uh, lots of smoke and pyrotechnics and guns and uh, people running around like lunatics. Very amusing. And of course, no tour of Chiswick's film locations would be complete without a visit to the place where the very first music video was made, ever. I'm standing where George Harrison stood in the very first music video, which the Beatles shot in 19... 66, and it was paperback writer. This is Chiswick House, and this is the temple in Chiswick House. And this is where, in 2003, they filmed the Vanity Fair, which was a large feature film with Reese Witherspoon. They used the set to show Vauxhall Gardens in about 1800. And what they did was they created an unreal world where people could walk on water where the temple was used for parties and where nymphs and satyrs roamed in the background. This is where they built the three-storey pagoda for Vauxhall Gardens. And this is where Reese Witherspoon had a meal of exotic food and uh, spent some time next to this beautiful temple and pond. She was 
at the time pregnant. And as part of the requirement by the film company, they had to remove all the water from this pond and pump in fresh water from the lake just over the, over the way there. That way they got rid of any possibility of E. coli or salmonella being an issue if anyone would have fallen into the water. So. Well, they put a large canopy over this bridge for the film. And uh, what happened was that uh, you got stands here with a, f a large sort of canopy that looked like, uh, um, looked like Brighton Pavilion. And then up here in the lake, they had swan boats coming up both sides and unloading onto the field here. And they had a woman doing fire eating and juggling with fire. And they had flames coming out of the, the river. Uh, which they did very cleverly using gas pipes under the um, under the water. It's extraordinary. This most extraordinary building has been used so many times for different pieces of filming. But really, what you've got to realise is that it's only the annex of the original house, which was on that side. And the original house was demolished in the 1800s. And the annex was, of course, retained because of its architectural significance. Um, we've had Bollywood films shooting dance sequences on the other side of the house, which I'll show you. It's pretty impressive. This is where a Bollywood film shot um, a rather exotic scene of a dancer in front of this beautiful Palladian mansion. And uh, they did a lovely tracking shot down the middle of the path here. And uh, she did her stuff right here, in front of that. 